It's Thursday, November 20th, 2014. Good morning. I'm forecaster Mark Spencer from NeoWeather.com. Cold weather continues along with more lake effect snow. Today, we'll take a look at the latest. We do have warmer temperatures in store for the weekend, but will we be dealing with rain instead of snow? Get all the details and much more starting right now. We're tracking lake effect snow on a NeoWeather 3D Max Doppler network radar. I can see it streaming in from the lake, mainly due to a west wind. So it's only affecting portions of eastern lake and northern Ashtabula County. Let's zoom in just a little bit closer here and see what communities are affected. Generally from Painesville and then north and east up through about Conneaut. That's who's affected as this uh, lake effect band comes on shore. Uh, it's a generally light to moderate snow may see an occasional heavy burst of snow here and there. The heaviest band looks like it's just remaining offshore right here. And we'll actually go ahead and stop this. Here's the heaviest snow right here just north of Geneva on the lake, back towards uh, just north of Painesville offshore. If this does come on shore, we're looking at it coming on shore. Generally, looks like just to the east of Geneva on the lake into Ashtabula, North Kingsville, Kelloggsville, and possibly into Conneaut as well. And we could see a little bit of snow off of that. We'll take a look at what we're expecting in terms of accumulation in just a moment. Besides this, though, something else we're not done with is the cold weather. And you can see this bitterly cold air extending all the way back into the northern plains and the, the Dakotas, Minnesota. This is some uh, very, very cold air. Temperatures around zero this morning to just a little bit below it. And fortunately, we don't have too much longer to deal with this. Only about a day, and then we're going to warm up. We're going to tap into this 40s and 50s down here. You see across the Gulf Coast, that's going to be coming our way ahead of another system this weekend. We'll have the details on that coming up in the extended forecast. Otherwise, again, we're dealing mainly with snow, lake effect snow across portions of Michigan, uh, the lower peninsula really getting pounded off Lake Michigan there. Some snow coming off Lake Superior, and yes, Buffalo is getting snow again this morning. We are looking at another lake effect streamer coming in towards Dunkirk and the southern suburbs of Buffalo. They definitely don't need any more snow. That's going to continue until the winds come out of the northwest later tonight. Chilly out there this morning across northern Ohio. Temperatures range from 21 to 23 degrees. The exception is Sandusky at 25. It's the wind chill really making it feel cold out there. Feels like 10 above at Sandusky in downtown Cleveland, 9 in Ashtabula. The chilly spot this morning, Youngstown, where it feels like 6. Feels like 11 in Akron, 9 in Worcester, and 8 in Mansfield. And it feels like 12 degrees down in Dover, New Philadelphia. Temperatures and wind chills really not going to improve much through the day. So if you are heading out, be sure to bundle up dress in layers and uh, limit your time outside as it is pretty cold out there our almanac for today yesterday's high 31 the low 12 our averages are 49 and 36 we're going to remain below average today and tomorrow the records today 73 and 15 we could break this record low overnight tonight we're gonna have to keep a very close eye on that just to trace the snow yesterday we're at 9.4 inches for the month which is just over seven inches above normal just for the month of november it's not even winter yet, guys. Sunrise is at 7.22 a.m. and sunset, it's just too early for me, 5.04 p.m. Want to take a look at one of the models showing the lake effect snow today into tonight and tomorrow morning. A west wind is going to mainly bring that lake effect again into Lake and northern Ashtabula County. Then it's going to start shifting later tonight and it's going to bring this band you see on shore here around 10, 11 o'clock. And that's going to bring snow to downtown Cleveland and points east. As we get closer to daybreak, you see the rain to western Cuyahoga in the northern summit. That's going to bring some snow on shore. Then some light snow for everybody before high pressure builds in by lunchtime and starts clearing things out of here. The snow, the clouds, all of that. Still going to be a chilly day tomorrow with highs in the 20s. Let's take a look at those snowfall amounts. Here's what we're expecting right now. Generally, 4 to 8 inches across northern Ashtabula and eastern and possibly southeastern Lake County. Outside of that a general three to six inches of snow two to four for much of Cuyahoga County into extreme northern parts of Summit Portage and then just outside of that three to six there in Geauga and northern Trumbull and then if that band does come on shore enough for the 
slight amount of time it might we could see one to as much as three inches of snow excuse me from lorraine and the northern medina county northern summit county northern portage county and possibly even into the rest of trumbull county although i think in central and southern trumbull county those amounts would be around an inch two at the most this runs through friday morning our forecast for today, lake effect snow off to the east, otherwise mainly cloudy for the rest of us. We could see some peaks of sun this afternoon, a high of 24, still very cold out there. Winds are going to be out of the southwest at about 10 to 20 miles an hour. That's going to keep those wind chills anywhere from 5 to 10 above through the day. And you can see temperatures really don't go very far, just a few degrees from where they're at right now. Akron and Canton about the same here, looking at a high about 25 degrees, cloudy this morning, and then we could get the partly cloudy skies this afternoon if skies do clear enough again southwest wind about 10 to 20 miles an hour keeps wind chills right around 5 to 10 above overnight tonight we're looking at lake effect snow again that band could come on shore and affect other areas in the secondary snow belt it's going to get very cold with a low around 11 wind chills from minus 5 to minus 10 so when you do wake up friday morning it's going to feel very cold out there and some of you may have to shovel some snow so be prepared for that on our extended forecast, some morning lake effects snow early on Friday will clear out by about late morning, and then we're going to see partly cloudy skies. Still chilly, a high of 23. One more cold night Friday night as we drop into the teens once again. And then for Saturday, could start out the late morning, early afternoon, some freezing rain or rain-snow mix. Shouldn't last very long. It will change the rain by the afternoon as temperatures begin to rise ahead of the next system to affect our area. A high of 37 on Saturday. Temperatures rise overnight Saturday night. Rain likely for Sunday and also Monday. It's going to be very windy with a very strong system off to our west. A high of 50 on Sunday, 56 on Monday. And then on Tuesday, the cold front finally arrives. A few showers around could mix with some snow. A high of 41 generally early in the morning. And then temperatures will fall through the afternoon. It'll still be a breezy day. Lake effect snow returns Tuesday night and Wednesday along with colder temperatures. Wednesday's high 31.